buonasera più tardi. Buonasera, veramente. I, I'm not sure about, I'm not sure Buon pomeriggio. Buon pomeriggio a tutti. I'm going to say a few words first in Italian and my formal translator will tell me if I'm wrong. È un onore per me essere qui con la signora ministro degli affari esteri, Federica Mogherini, e è un onore per me essere qui con l'ambasciatore d'Italia negli Stati Uniti, Claudio Bisognero. You tell me if any of my pronunciations are off, Your Honor. Le mie origini italiane rappresentano la fondamenta della mia identità. Ho visitato l'Italia per la prima volta nel 1975, quando aveva 14 anni, e da allora sono tornato in Italia molte, molte volte. Mia nonna Anna arrivò negli Stati Uniti dall'Italia nei primi anni del Novecento ed aprì un negozio di vestiti a Midtown Manhattan, più tardi con mio nonno. E voglio che New York sia altrettanto accogliente con gli immigranti di oggi quanto lo fu con mia nonna e mio nonno. Desidero lavora lavorare con la mia amministrazione affinché questa città continui a dare il benvenuto agli italiani e agli immigranti di tutto il mondo. And I have to tell you what a great honor it is, truly an honor for me, for all of the members of my administration to greet the foreign minister. Uh, the conversation we had uh, to me was inspiring. I have great respect for the work that she is doing and the prime minister is doing, and a sense of pride as an Italian American in the work you're doing and the symbol you are of a new Italy, uh, and Italy that is addressing its challenges head on. And uh, we'll say simply that we noted the parallels uh, of what we are facing uh, in terms of uh, a great complex set of challenges, particularly economic challenges. Uh, that's true in the United States, that's true in the city of New York, it's true in Italy. The common denominator that we see is that these issues have to be addressed boldly and we have to gain the faith of the people in the process by showing constant movement and progress. And I know how much uh, the Prime Minister is committed to that kind of vision. I can tell in all the work of the Foreign Minister and in her uh, passionate presentation of uh, the work that has to be done ahead. I can see her extraordinary skill and commitment. And so for me, it's, it's a, a day of inspiration and appreciation. I want to also note a deep appreciation to the ambassador, deep appreciation, I want to say this on behalf of all New Yorkers, to our Council General, Natalia Quintavale, who does a great, great job uh, representing the interests of uh, Italy in this city, but also of working so closely with the Italian-American community. And I uh, want to thank all of our staff, including Brad Billett, the Acting Commissioner of the Mayor's Office for International Affairs, all the people who helped put together this visit. But really, uh, uh, for me, uh, my sense of my origins is, is a, a constant in my life. It's an everyday uh, reality. And my sense of pride and appreciation for the homeland that my ancestors come from uh, is always in my thinking. And uh, I feel from a distance uh, both some of the challenges but also a, a great sense of optimism because the history, thousands of years of history, gives us reason to be optimistic because there's so much there to draw on and so much strength inherent in the Italian people. So uh, I would just conclude by saying this is a, a personally important day. It's a day that um, I hope indicates to the foreign minister that uh, we will do all we can uh, to be helpful uh, to the people of Italy. The city of New York has such a profound connection to the people of Italy because so many New Yorkers have their origins in Italy, uh, because so many of the 
leading individuals in, in all aspects of life in this city are people of Italian descent because New Yorkers love nothing more than to visit Italy and Italians love nothing more than to visit New York. And shopping in New York. Shopping. <laughs> we, and enc we encourage shopping in New York. And we appreciate we it. Shopping in Italy, so we, we'll have an exchange. Yes. Each will shop in the other's place for the good of all. But um, I just want to always offer my respect and uh, any effort I can make to uh, help the great work that's going on in my ancestral homeland and our deep, deep appreciation. And you honor us, Foreign Minister, you honor us, you honor the people of New York City with your presence, and I would welcome your remarks. Grazie, grazie mille, Sindaco. Uh, it's a great honor for me to uh, close uh, my uh, first official visit abroad uh, uh, with this meeting uh, that uh, uh, I've uh, um, deeply wanted to have uh, because, as you said, we have uh, somehow common challenges. The complexity of New York City and the complexity of Italy, even if different, still pose some challenging in governing the process. Um, but I think we also share, as you said, uh, the same uh, vision of the need and urgency to deliver to our citizens set of reforms, uh, to improve their quality of life in a very concrete way. Uh, and uh, not only the Italian people have seen your, uh, your election as the uh, as positive, important recognition of an Italian-American, but also a source of inspiration for the energy and the strength uh, you put in the campaign and in the work you do. Um, obviously, you were not the first Italian-American mayor of New York, uh, but I think uh, I'm not wrong if I say that you have been uh, probably the one that has stressed your being Italian. Uh, I asked the authorization for saying Italian only <laughs> before. Uh, you have been the one that has stressed these roots uh, more than others, and uh, we are proud for that, and I thank you very much for that. Um, as you said, we discussed about uh, the common challenges and the common vision uh, we have, especially in uh, uh, tackling inequalities uh, and uh, finding ways of uh, uh, sharing and making the, the impact of the economic crisis uh, more sustainable for different uh, parts of our societies, both in a city, which is in itself a country, uh, and, uh, and in Italy. Uh, and we discussed the lack of perspective and the lack of hope and the lack of confidence that especially youngest generations feel towards institutions, towards policy, politics, uh, and the effort that we feel uh, so urgent um, to uh, realize that actually we can pass the message that through politics, through institutions, through the administration, uh, things can be changed uh, and that it's not all the same, that you can make a difference. And I think uh, the administration of a city like New York City uh, is probably the best example of that, and we're trying to do the same uh, in Italy uh, with the government. Um, that is the part that is more general than I probably come to my more foreign affairs mm -hmm. <laughs> part, but uh, we are in the end, uh, first of all politicians, first of all uh, human beings, and, uh, and that's, that is also part of our commitment. Uh, and our daily work. Uh, for me, it's particularly important to be uh, sitting at the side of the mayor of New York uh, that is so much uh, an example of uh, how important the role of Italians and Italian-Americans is for this country. Uh, today, during a very short meeting with the, the Italian community here in New York City, uh, I mentioned the fact that we are actually a superpower in terms of the spread of our Italian community, right. culture, language, yes. all over the world. Just need to realize that, to empower this uh, huge resource that we have, to network uh, all over the world. And I think that building bridges and counting on, uh, on uh, the availability of people like you uh, that have a, such a strong leadership in, uh, in this part of the world can make it really happen. Uh, so I, 
thank you very much for your time. I thank you very much for uh, remembering every day uh, to all of the American people that uh, uh, there is a value in welcoming people from all, all over the world, that that builds stronger societies, stronger economies, and uh, a better perspective for the future. This is a value that we have to stress every day back home. Uh, and sometimes we don't remember enough that we have been traveling all over the world uh, before welcoming people from all over the world in our own country. And I think this is the best chance to uh, underline uh, this, uh, this need to remember every time that we have been an immigration country before becoming an immigration country. Uh, and the uh, wonderful added value that each and uh, every person that uh, uh, is joining in this melting pot that is the United States uh, can contribute to making this country stronger. And I wish Italy can become uh, such a strong uh, mix of cultures, languages, roots as the United States uh, is, because has been welcoming uh, us also so well. So uh, we keep in touch for the developments of your uh, statements. You said uh, you're ready to do all we can do to support us. We will count on that and we will work on that. Uh, and uh, we uh, wait for you in Italy at your earliest convenience, as uh, we say in the diplomatic world. <laughs> Thank you very much, and it's open for For some po' italiano per nostri amici. Per me, no, loro mi sentono parlare in italiano quando vogliono. Um, ho, ho, apprezzato, ho cercato molto questo incontro e l'ho apprezzato molto la disponibilità del sindaco De Blasio eh, di incontrarmi oggi perché è importante sottolineare quanta parte eh, della forza degli Stati Uniti abbia radici italiane nella politica, nelle istituzioni, nell'economia, nella cultura, eh, nella cucina eh, e quanto sia positivo un modello di società capace di accogliere e di mescolare culture, provenienze, eh, identità diverse. Condividiamo la stessa sfida, quella di dare risposte ai nostri cittadini, dare risposte concrete a situazioni anche di difficoltà, di superare situazioni di ineguaglianza che sono sempre più inquietanti nelle nostre società, che sia a New York, che sia eh, in Italia. E ci anima la stessa energia, la stessa determinazione e la stessa concretezza. Eh, lo ringrazio moltissimo per questo incontro e daremo seguito all'impegno di aiutarci reciprocamente eh, e lo aspetto in Italia per una sua prossima visita quando vorrà. Grazie. Well, two notes before we open for questions. One to the point of the Italian diaspora, which is I agree with the foreign minister uh, there's perhaps an underestimation of the extraordinary nature. Uh, I think uh, arguably uh, the greatest example we've had recently, someone I admire with all my heart, our Pope, Pope Francis. It's a great example of the Italian diaspora and uh, that it exists in every part of the world and the impact it's made is extraordinary. Uh, literally, a foreign minister this morning, I went for coffee at a cafe. The woman who served me had an Australian accent. And she said, knowing me, she said, you wouldn't expect that I would be Italian, would you? A very strong Australian accent. And she said, my father's from Sicily, my mother's from Tuscany. And they were immigrants to Australia that she was brought up there. She was going back to visit her relatives in Italy. So a little example of just how far the diaspora reaches. And finally, I want the foreign minister to know I am committed uh, to using everything I have to invest in Italy. So I today I'm wearing a Cornigliani suit. And this tie is from Le Strega of Napoli. So I'm trying as a good Italian American to invest in the homeland this is, every this chance is advertisement. I get. It's, it's product <laughs> placement. <laughs> but you see, the positive point uh, of globalization is that we don't necessarily need tourists to come to Italy to buy Italian. They can buy Italian in New York City. Exactly right. Exactly right. With that, we welcome your questions. Yes.